Is this thing on yet? You, it says you're live. Uh, it says I'm live. There's a check, check, check. It says my it says my volume's on, and and I'm on the screen. So so I think everything's working okay. I don't like touching any buttons while I'm going, but I think it's okay. So how's everybody doing? Today we are here. We're going to be going over the unboxing of the Zero Pack August box. And from what I heard, there are numerous drinks. Well, there's five drinks total, but there are several drinks I haven't even reviewed yet. So, so yeah. So I hope you guys are in for a good time. It's going to be a good time. Let's check out. Let's see who is here on time because there's only a few people that are ever on time. Mr. C. Farley is on time. How's it going? Welcome. Samuel is here. Samuel, good job, Samuel. Samuel is one of the people who, who always puts first in the videos. And, and there was a couple of people in competition for a while, but, but Sam, Sam's been going pretty quick on those. Brian is here. How's it going? David is here. Hello, David. If you guys don't know, David Garcia, the founder, owner, president, information guy, uh, customer service guy at Zero Pack. Let him know how good of a job he's doing. This box is absolutely amazing. I have loved it since the very first box that I got. And I am so happy to be able to share with you guys in these monthly live streams just to go over what is in here, which we will be going over in a few minutes. And uh, I will tell you that you can go to the zeropack.com and save 50% off your first box when you use coupon code caffeine man david gave me that coupon code to share with you guys because he is certain that once you guys get this box at 50 percent off and you see what's in here and you taste what's in here and, and realize that you can't get these drinks uh in all of your stores right away so you can get them in this box uh he knew you guys would like it so good stuff so thank you to david i'm so happy that you had this box Tony's here. How's it going, Tony? Good to see you. Chad is here. How's it going, Chad? Good to see you again, Chad. Uh, we got Close Flet, Close Fleet, Close Flet is here. And uh, Isaac is also here. How's it going, Isaac? Eric is here. How's it going, Eric? Kevin is here. Eddie and Dante Shepard is here. How's it going? He's making some coffee right now. Uh, Obershoes is here. How's it going, Obershoes? Good to see you again. Thank you so much for joining me. Great to see you. And uh, any of your people who follow you as well uh, sometimes jump by. So hello to all the Obershoes friends. Julie is here. How's it going, Julie? And I think I got almost everybody. I have a name I can't pronounce, but how's it going? T-S-E-E-D-O-T-I-Z-H. I'll still get it in there. I can't pronounce it, but I'll spell it. Thank you so much for joining me today. And uh, here we go. Uh, I'm going to look through some of the comments. First. Normally, I, I kind of jump right into the box, but... I do know some people show up late and stuff, so uh, rather than just say the hellos and jump right into the box, uh, I figured maybe I'll even answer some questions first because uh, I save all my questions and answers to the end. Or that's how I used to do it. I like to switch things up now and again. But uh, once I start the review, once I start the unboxing, uh, then I will probably uh, save the questions to the end because I get distracted easy. But, uh, but thank you all for showing up. I decided to do a Friday night because uh, usually I do Saturday night or Sunday night. But I know I have a decent West crowd audience as well. So uh, usually if I do it at like 7 or 8 o'clock, which is kind of late for me Eastern time, uh, they're just getting out of work. So I said, well, I could do it at 9 o'clock, but I'm not going to do it at 9 o'clock on a Sunday because five energy drinks at 9 o'clock on a Sunday when I have to be up early in the morning – doesn't really work out that great. So I said, you know what? How about a Friday? And the thing is, I usually only decide on like Thursdays. So uh, I decided last night, I'll try a Friday, see how many people we can get. Uh, it's summertime, so I know a lot of people are busy. But hey, trying out a new time slot just to check it out and, uh, and see how it goes. And who else we have jumping in here? And uh, yeah. I think we got everybody. I think I got all my hellos out. Uh, if you guys like, uh, Obershoes Games actually has his own gaming channel. Be sure to check him out. Uh, he's done great things for, for my channel. He recommended me to all of his viewers, got me a bunch of subscribers and stuff. So if you're into games and stuff and gaming, check out Obershoes Games. And uh, I, I try to get on, on his live streams, but uh, his live streams, he's got a weird schedule. They're usually at one o'clock in the morning for me, and I can't. Uh, I gotta work in the morning. Like I gotta be up at like six, so I can't make many of his live streams. But I, I like the ones that I'm, I get. I get to watch. And uh, 
Let's see. We got... How you doing, Caffey, man? I'm doing pretty good. How's it going, Isaac? Uh, Samuel drank a ghost energy war his this morning and still have energy all day. And you might be puckering all day, too. That sour warheads. Woo, that watermelon. Strong stuff. I just had a Swedish fish the other day because if you guys didn't know, I am a Swedish fish lover. So what's your favorite Mountain Dew flavor? Uh, Isaac, I don't drink soda. So uh, soda's bad for you. Yeah, yeah. So so I stick to energy drinks. So, uh, you know, Mountain Dew Energy, uh, I would say their best flavor right now is either the Cherry Limeade or even the uh, Baja Blast is pretty good. But uh, even those flavors, uh, there are so many other companies with so many other uh, better flavors in all those categories. Uh, and even the Baja, the Baja Blast is uh, pretty good from uh, Ray's. And um, there was another company, Rise did a good Baja Blast too. And uh, uh, the problem with the Mountain Dew Baja Blast is that they actually used uh, aspartame in it. Yeesh. Mm. So RJ's here. Hey, everyone finally made it for a live. Welcome. I was wondering if you'd be able to make it if I made it nine o'clock on a Friday night because RJ's in college doing a great job, getting a good report card and all that stuff. And I said, listen, if RJ is going to be around, he probably had a hard week during school unless he's on summer vacation. That's only high schools and regular schools that do that. I don't know if colleges do that. It's been a long time. But uh, I say hey, he's not going to be studying late on a Friday night. Mm, I don't think so. So welcome, RJ. Good to see you. Glad you were able to make it. So you wish Mountain Dew would bring back the Mountain Dew Amp Energy. Uh, they don't need to bring it back. It's already still here. They still sell it in stores. Uh, it's sometimes hard to find. You have to like look at maybe the bottom shelf, or you might have to go to like the Pepsi Mountain Dew section or something like that. But uh, they still make it. Uh, they've changed cans like six or seven times uh, since it came out. So, so you might not be uh, able to see the can, but just look for the words Mountain Dew Amp. You should be able to find it. It's still around, So, at least in stores near me. So let's see. Crystal's here. Hey, caught a live. How are you? Thank you so much. I am so glad that you caught the live. I am uh, trying out a Friday night at nine o'clock to see if I can get more people, get more people to come in, check out the live stream and stuff, see who's around. So good to see you. Thanks for joining us. August edition, one of the best boxes of the year. And, and I got to say this every single month, people are like, oh, that was the best box so far of the year. And I'm like, you know what? <laughs> the zero pack box, every box when it comes out is like the best box of the year. Each one's getting better and better with the drinks they put in here. So uh, yeah, welcome to Mini Caffeine RJ. How's it going, RJ? Thank you so much. Appreciate it. And uh, let's see. We are going to be going. Let's jump into the box right away because uh, we got a bunch of people here. You guys have been waiting for the box. Got all my hellos out of the way. Hello, everyone. Let's jump into this Zero Pack box. If you are new to the channel, I see a few new names here. And uh, Zero Pack ooh, Zero Pack is an energy drink subscription box, a sugar-free energy drink subscription box where you get five sugar-free energy drinks plus a couple of bonus items in there too. And all the drinks that are in here are, are several of them are brand spanking new. Like I said, there are a couple in here that I haven't reviewed yet. I need to open it to see how many there are. But uh, I think the record so far is one of the boxes that I opened had four drinks I hadn't reviewed yet out of the five. And, uh, and even then the other ones, the other ones are still new to the market, like something that's probably been released within the last year or so, or just great names. Like you'll get a 3D energy in here and, uh, you know, it might be the 3D gold, which isn't brand spanking new might only be a year or two old, but it's still a great drink. But uh, lots of new drinks in here. It is a great way to get yourself some new drinks. And uh, like I said, if you go to The Zero Pack, you got to put T-H-E, thezeropack.com, you can save 50% off your first box. Coupon code Caffeine Man. And let's go ahead, open up the box to see what is in here. And my goodness, I just, these boxes, double walled, cardboard super strong boxes and, and they need to be for the way these shipping people take care of these boxes this thing came dented up it's got look at this it's got a huge rip right there it looks like you know the design has tire prints on it but then it actually has tire prints on it because they drive over these things just drive right over them so first up we got something that sounds delicious 
we have a cinnamon snickerdoodle keto cookie by chipmunk chip monk oh i got it. it took me a second i said it slow chip monk but then it hit me chip monk <laughs> kind of cute uh, oh ooh. but it's made with monk fruit uh i can't usually have monk fruit or stevia it bothers my taste buds but uh sounds like a very healthy cookie gluten-free two grams of net carbs and, and it's a keto cookie so uh i will let my wife have that she will love it maybe there and next up oh it also by chipmunk but this is not a keto cookie it is a protein cookie white chocolate macadamia i think that one's gonna be for me here we go 10 grams of protein gluten-free oh it's made with monk fruit you know what i'll probably try a bite of it anyway just to see because i can have a little bit oh it's monk fruit extract is the last ingredient so yeah i'll definitely give this a nibble because uh if it's the very last ingredient, I sometimes risk it and try it to see if my taste buds are friendly with it or not. So first up, we have Ray's Juice Box. Boom. And I will show you all the drinks first and then put them up here so we can get to them. And uh, over there, go over there. We also have Oxy Shred Pina Colada. No word of a lie, I just reviewed most of the oxy shreds just like two weeks ago or something i was able to get my hands on six of them i believe there's nine total and this one was not uh, one of the ones i could find so i do actually get to try this one out with you guys today and, and so far just sneak peek this is the only one that i've reviewed so far this uh this apple one haven't gotten to the pina colada. We got Meltdown here from the makers of Bang, the company called the VPX. Uh, they come out with lots of different lines to see what's going to stick. And uh, yeah, this is Meltdown, which is a powerful pre-workout with four electrolytes. It's got real ketones in it. It's got uh, lots of stuff, I'm sure. We'll go over it once we get into the drink. But this is the Mango Bango. Yeah. And we have, I've seen these around. Uh, I haven't really had too many requests for them. I wasn't sure if I was going to review them or not, but it's called Impulse. Great job on the graphics. Very, uh, They stand out very much on the shelf pretty well. Not that I've seen them in the stores, but I'm guessing they stand out on the shelves. They definitely stand out online when you look at them. Uh, and this one is Sun-Kissed Orange. And uh, I've been interested in checking them out. And... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, I got to check out who Impulse is because looking at this sleeve, looking at the back, I've seen a lot of sleeves like this, and it is very, very, very reminiscent to the look of a third-party um, uh, third energy drink company. So, uh, But we'll see how it goes. It says it's by Fit Brands. And last but certainly not least, oh my goodness, the one that I heard about, people could not keep it a secret. They had to tell everybody. My goodness, it's a beautiful can too. It is the 3D Galaxy line. And although it is beautiful, you can see that um, UPS decided they wanted to beat, beat it up a lot. I am glad it survived because, uh, and even that, I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to open them all. Look at this, the top of this meltdown. It's like sticking up straight. I can't see if I'm showing it to you good or not, but yeah. Like I'm not, I'm going to have to like smash that or something because in this raise too. Oh my goodness. That. Yeah. Anyway. So Gal. Ooh, that one almost fell. The bottom's first on the two. So we shall put the box over here and start setting these up. And this almost falls down because it just, they did a job. Oh, my goodness. Uh, melt down. Let's see. Put these all up here. Can we see them? Oh, yes, they look beautiful. See all the logos there. Let's see who's jumped in a little bit late, you know, get those late comers. They're going to say, oh, I hit traffic. Oh, I got, caught all the red lights and stuff like that. And uh, let's see. RJ can't stay long. Be watching the replay. Oh, I probably already missed you. Said hello and goodbye already. Sorry about that. And 
Uh, Ruben's here. How's it going, Ruben? Good to see you. Good here. Let's see. Uh, Isaac, Samuel. I think I got everybody so far. I said Ruben, Samuel. Xenon Strikers here. How's it going, Xenon? Great to see you. Sorry a little bit late, but you're here. Glad you're here. I was just downloading a game on Steam. It's called Multiverse. I don't know. Is that the Warner Brothers one? Because I, I think I heard about that one. So, what they did to the box, David, I know. I, I tell you, these boxes, uh, uh, yeah. at this time, I don't know who's better, UPS or USPS. Uh, oddly enough, UPS actually makes you sign for it. So, we get to actually look them in the eyes and say, what, what did you do to this box? Huh? You're going to make me sign for this? What, what did you do? Huh? Huh? And they're just like, I just... It just came. I'm just the delivery guy. It wasn't me. And I'm just like, all right. So, but, but uh, I, I think the last box came in pretty well. So this one, uh, they, they had to make a sign for it. So we weren't there the first day. So it ends up getting back on the truck. So I'm wondering if we actually got it the first day and signed for it, if it would have been in better shape. But you know what, David, you, you you went with the better boxes. You went with the solid boxes, the double wall boxes, and it protected them. I mean, the cans are a bit dented up, but as long as they didn't explode, good job. So I'm happy with those boxes. Mr. Z Farley, how's it going? Mose Isley Manglish, how's it going? Good to see you. CH Middies here. You need to get your hands on that new 3D right here. Galaxy Lime, yeah. And uh, actually, uh, they actually just got this. I posted it on my Instagram at a Campus Protein. So if you guys are looking to pick up a case of it, you can go to Campus Protein and save 10% off that case with coupon code CAFFEEMAN10. And uh, actually, I think they sell all of these. All of these except for Impulse. And uh, I'm not sure about Meltdown. But uh, all the rest of them, Ray's 3D OxyShred, they sell them all at Campus Protein. Campus Protein has just been expanding their selection like crazy. So I, I always say check them out to see what they have. And if you see something you like, it's 10% off coupon code caffeine and 10, but they also have lots of sales going on. So sometimes people don't even use my coupon code because they'll get like a buy one, get one half off. So uh, I usually leave a link down below. And then if you guys use that link, I still get credit for sending you there. So And let's see. All righty. I'm glad he's here. I love saying his name. McStabasaurus Rex is here. How's it going, McStabasaurus Rex? I can't, oh, I can't say it too fast. I have to, can't get too excited. McStabasaurus Rex is here. What a fine name to have. Very fine name indeed. Oh, McStabasaurus Rex. Thank you for being here. Great to see you again. Chad, you actually switched your subscription box from the Crate Joy to Amazon because Amazon does UPS delivery. Crate Joy was USPS. It was on Oh, okay. Oh. Wow. My first box was on, on I think, was uh, through Crate Joy, and then I went to Zero Pack directly. So. Is this 3D the best of their lineup? I don't know. I am a fan personally of that gold pina colada one, but I've heard good things about this. So we'll, we'll have to find out. And, and, and I'm not sure if you're going to be here to find out because I'm probably saving the best for last. So I'll probably go through the rest of them first. So thank you all for joining me. I am gonna, I'll am going to let you guys chat it up a little bit while I do my review over here unboxing. And we're going to start off with one that I've already tried before so we can get that one out of the way. That's going to be the Raised Juice Box. 300 milligrams of caffeine in the Raised Drinks. Lots of electrolytes. No B vitamins. Uh, I realized that not too long ago. I mean, I said it in my original video way back when. But then recently I'm like, hey, they don't have any B vitamins. How weird. But hey, they get 300 milligrams of caffeine. And, uh, and let's open this... <laughs> I can't, I'm not going to be able to get this open. We're going to try. Here we go. We're going to go cautiously and then come on. You can do it. Come on. Come on. Nope. Didn't do it. All righty. You guys know I got to get my special tool out. So that's how we open cans. Same way they deliver the boxes. There we go. There we go. Clear. Got it? 
taste it out. Pretty much like I remember. Um, it's one of the unique drinks. Uh, Ray's likes to do a little bit of spin on drinks sometimes. Uh, they give you a, a unique name, but they're usually kind of accurate to their name. Uh, I've had a lot of different apple drinks out there. Sour apples, wild orchard apples, regular apples, candy apples, all that stuff. And uh, they went with juice box, which is, you know, you think apple juice and uh, like the juice boxes. And this actually does taste sort of like an apple juice. Uh, and and I, I'm not a huge fan of apple juice, but uh, I, I have to give them props for basically making what they put on the can. They said that they're going to make a juice box and it's not just an apple flavor. It's sort of an apple juice reminding you of when you were a kid, went to school and got the juice boxes and uh, they did a good job with it. I believe I rated this like an 8.6 and I'm guessing if I liked apple juice more, maybe I would have knocked out a wire and gone offline. Oh boy. Hope that didn't happen. Hopefully I'm still here. But uh, yeah, so uh, they did a good job with it. And, and, and like I said, I'm not a fan of uh, juice boxes. And I'm thinking apple juice. How many people get excited about apple juice? Oh, yeah, apple juice. I don't know. I know I don't. And I don't think I've ever heard anybody say it. But yeah, 8.6 on the Caffeine Man rating chart. And uh, a lot of the raises, they do a great job with their flavors. So uh, it's always good to try the new ones when they come out. Unless they're the limited editions. They're sometimes hard to get your hands on it because they come out with tons of limited editions. But let's move on to the next one. Um, I am not going to drink the rest of that because five drinks, mostly 300 milligrams of caffeine each. Nine o'clock at night, I am going to be up until tomorrow morning. What did you guys think? That's right. After each drink, I ask you guys what you thought of the Ray's juice box or what you think about Ray's in general. And while we talk about that, or while you talk about that, I crunch on some crackers over here to cleanse the palate. Very important to cleanse the palate in between each flavor so that you get an accurate representation of each flavor. These could be from my last live stream. Unless I did a full review. No, these are probably from my Oxy Shred review. Yeah. Not the freshest, but cleanse the palate. I like that hammer. Bad Man Terry been caffeine free for about a year now. So you watch my channel to live vicariously through me. I hope you enjoy the videos even though you don't have caffeine. Moe's Isley Mangler, Galaxy Line was fire. Been hearing good things. And I haven't been let down by 3D yet. They've all rated in the, the mid to high eights, I'm pretty sure. And some of them in the nines. They just don't release drinks too, too often. It was a long time before they released uh, between the silver, the gold, the yellow, uh, yellow, <laughs> Alpha Land, and then this one. But as long as they make a quality product, just like Ghost, you know, Ghost doesn't come out with tons of drinks flooding the market like like Ray's does, but uh, they make quality products. Thank you, Kyle. I appreciate that. Appreciate that. Glad you enjoy the channel and got a lot of education out of it. Ray is very innovative company with all the flavors, good marketing. Yeah, they're all over online. I mean, they had such a strong social media pre pre uh, presence that they just blew up like crazy because of all that influence they had. I just wish they didn't do as many limited editions, but I do know that it's mostly because of the supply chains. They can only do limited runs. So limited editions, but now they're starting to bring those limited editions into the regular line and making them more plentiful for everybody. So supply chain slowly getting better, getting some more permanent flavors from Ray's.
Tony really wanted to try the juice box, but Vitamin Shop doesn't have it yet. I have to order a case if I want to try it, which I'll probably do at some point. Did you check out XN Subs? XN Subs has been getting uh, a lot of drinks as well. They've been expanding, and uh, I do believe they have Rays. So try them. Only three bucks a can. So what's going on, EQR? Ooh, at Xenon Striker just tried the 3D Gold today. I need to know what you think. Don't leave me hanging here. Unless you say something bad about it, I'm just going to ignore your comment. I can do that. Ghost is so good. Yeah. Man, man, Terry, love your content, man. It's been, it's, it has, it has an atmosphere to it that I can't explain. Always puts you in a good mood. Excellent to hear. Good, good, good to know. I, I, I it's always interesting to find people that say, uh, I don't drink energy drinks, but I watch your channel. It, it makes you feel a little like, oh, well, okay. That, that must mean I'm doing something right. <laughs> so 98% um, of the people are here for the energy drink review. So there you go. All righty. So uh, jumping back into this, I wanted to see what you guys thought about the Ray's Chad. Like the Ray's Juice Box, solid drink. Okay, because I know Chad, Chad got the box. I forget who else got the box. RJ sometimes gets the box. I forget. Who gets the box though i can't memorize everyone who gets the box but you know these live streams i want to make sure i talk to you guys to see what you thought of the drinks so really good pina colada flavor with 200 milligrams just enough all right colin y'all check your mate reviews i i reviewed them on my channel check it out uh it's it's gonna be hard to scroll through and find because I did it quite a while back. But if you go to my homepage over to the right hand side, they'll have a little magnifying glass search. If you type in Yachek, just Yachek, only one word, uh, it should bring up my Yachek review for you. Alrighty, here we go. We are going to be going into Pina Colada Oxy Shred. And guys, I got to tell you, I reviewed Oxy Shred just a couple weeks ago, and I was not impressed at all. The highest score for the best flavor that they had, in my opinion, always just my opinion, was that uh, Bahama Breeze, and that was a 7.9. None of the drinks hit the 8s. There was just something off about them. They're cotton candy, too. My goodness. Uh, they all had, like, this little bit of tang or something at the end, some little, little, little something at the end for the aftertaste that wasn't overly good. And pina colada, uh, it's become one of my favorite flavors for a lot of the drinks that I review. Alani New, Trippy Hippie, 3D Gold, and more. And uh, so I'm curious how they're going to do. The thing is, when you have a favorite drink and you have so many that you like, you're going to end up being more critical of it because you're like, this is nothing like the 3D Gold. But, uh, but yeah, I, I wasn't overly uh, impressed with most of the drinks. If you guys want to know more about what I think of OxyShred, be sure to check out that video. should be relatively easy to find. But they do have things in here for uh, clean caffeine, L-carnitine. It's got your vitamin B, your vitamin C, taurine and tyrosine for focus. So the, uh, the, the information, uh, the, the stats, what do they call them? macros, seemed really good, even though you can't read them. I'll, I'll put it up here. Can you guys see that? How about now? How about now? I had to zoom in uh, with my camera and take pictures so that I could actually read the Nutrition Facts panel and in, in ingredients because uh, it's so, so small on here. But yeah. And uh, it's got 180 milligrams of caffeine in the 12 ounce can. And uh, it says it feels like it's 250, though. It's like, oh, it's 80 degrees out, but it feels like it's 90. Yeah, that works. Do, 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 do. Got ourselves a nice pina colada color here. Colada, 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 colada. And I'm pretty sure that they don't use coloring. Most of these companies do not use coloring. I believe that they use, I don't know. It says natural. I can't read it. 
and I can't remember from two weeks ago because I got a bad memory, but they usually use some kind of a beta carotene you know, or something else. I do recall not being able to find it. it was, that's why I don't remember. But they don't have any artificial colors listed on here. So, it's, uh, the, oh, put these up here for the people that just coming in now. They can see the drinks as long as I don't spill them. I don't spill them. Feel smell. Ooh. Smells like pina colada. See how it tastes, though. It's that aftertaste that gets you. Every single one of the drinks I tried, I first started drinking, I'm like, oh, this is pretty good. Oh, aftertaste. Let's taste it out. All right. Mm, okay, okay. And the aftertaste, like I said, had like a little bit of like a tang to it. It made me think that each one of the drinks was like a little bit sour, but it was sour and not like a great kind of way. It didn't really mix that well. And I'm not getting it as much out of this one here. So so this was actually pretty good. Uh, you get the pineapple flavor in there. Uh, one of the key things that stick out of pine, uh, pina colada is mostly the pineapple Maybe a touch of the coconut flavor, but you're really getting that overall pina colada flavor out of here. Very tropical, uh, very uh, pina colada -y. And uh, go back in. I'll talk a little bit about it, too, because I want to see if that aftertaste comes in. I want to see the flavor stack a little bit and see if that aftertaste comes in and sneaks in sometimes it takes a little while but so far really good flavor and like i said pina colada is becoming uh, one of my favorite flavors out of the drinks you know i like the berries i like the peaches I, you know stuff like that but uh <clears throat> yeah really really good compared to the others um so this is definitely uh, going to be hitting that eight category which none of the other drinks could do and uh, like i said you are getting a touch of sour on the back end but it's not a bad sour aftertaste like the other ones had but yeah i'm really liking it i would have to say um this is uh this is gonna probably blow out the best one that i like so much the bahama breeze by a full entire point so i'm gonna i'm gonna go eight nine on this uh almost hitting that nine category so if they could go back to all their other drinks and and get out that little tangy sourness out of it uh i think they do a good job with the drinks they'd, they'd be a lot more competitive so there we go. Let me know what you guys thought of the Oxy Shred and if you disagree with my video. And uh, let me know who you thought of the Pina Colada. I do know, uh, I don't know if he's here yet. Uh, Robert Garcia usually jumps in and he uh, uh, gets the box. And he said that he had uh, liked the Pina Colada. And uh, I think he said uh, it was a good start to the Oxy Shred. I was like, oh, no, stop there. Don't get any of the other Oxy Shreds because it seems like Pina Colada might be the best one. They're tricking you. So. Let me know what you guys think while I chew on some crackers. And I don't want to get that flavor out of my mouth. It's pretty good. But uh, i got to be fair to the rest of them. And if you're new, I usually leave my questions and answers to the end uh, of the uh, of the review. So I'm not ignoring any questions or comments right now. Well, I kind of am, but I'm not doing it purposely. Well, I kind of am doing it purposely. But I'm only doing it not to be rude. I'm just doing it because I save them to the end so that I can focus on the unboxing. Because you never know how long David's going to be here. My goodness, this is the longest David's ever been here, huh? Friday nights, David, huh? Uh, you should be working hard on that next box, I'm sure. <laughs> Just kidding. You deserve some time off. And I'm glad you're spending your time off with me. In my audience. <clears throat> He, oh, David says citrus or lime. What do you prefer and what's the difference? Because at the end of the day, lime is a citrus. Uh, you know what? Uh, citrus has lots of, I'm sure you know, I'll, I'll say it anyway, but uh, citrus has a bunch of different flavors. Uh, you got lime, you got lemon, you have uh, orange. They're all your citrus flavors and some of the other uh, acidic things, even uh, grapefruit, uh, very citrusy kind of flavors. So, um, 
lemon and lime are your most common citruses but there are lots of energy drinks that just do a generic citrus flavor and they mix in all the different citruses and you can't really even tell uh which is which so uh yeah so so yeah lime is a citrus uh, but there are several different other citruses too and uh, most of your uh, citrus fruits all come from uh, three main fruits and then they cross pollinate those to get all your other citrus fruits can't be man knowledge for you there i only know that because it was in my g fuel naratu naratu sakuto g fuel it was a pomegranate kind of flavor pomodoro that's the fruit pomodoro and i ended up researching pomodoro and found out that like everything comes from like the grapefruit orange and something else i'm gonna stop there though because i want to make myself seem smart and, and not be like oh yeah, I'm <laughs> Chad enjoyed the Oxy Shred Pina Colada. I was wondering if maybe my palate wasn't as sensitive because uh, I didn't pick up any aftertaste. You know, that one was the bad, it wasn't much bad aftertaste at all. I don't think many people will pick up on an aftertaste. Uh, I only get that tinge of it because all the other ones had that aftertaste. But this one, this is pretty good. Yeah. Looks like we're on sync with that one. Yep. Mm hmm. Great to hear that the pina colada was good. Mose Eisley Manger, the pina colada was the favorite in the box. Oh, I thought you liked the 3D, though, huh? Oh, it's going to be a competition going on. Oxy Shred was good. The UK version has 113 milligrams of caffeine. Not sure if it has the same bad aftertaste as the U.S. was getting. It depends. Uh, different countries have different regulations on not only caffeine and sugar, but uh, pre-workout ingredients. So uh, they might have gone down on some of the percentages of the pre-workout ingredients, which could have been one of the flavors that uh, I was getting the aftertaste from. Always great content from you. Thank you so much, Nanada Pai. I appreciate it. And uh, Samuel, thank you as well. Good job working hard on the channel. Let's move on to the next one, which is going to be hmm, Impulse Sun-Kissed Orange. Like I said, nice graphics on there. And, uh, and uh, like I said, I've seen lots of third-party uh, energy drink cans. And, and this back just... It just looks exactly <laughs> like it. So, uh, you know, maybe they just hired out that company to make their energy drinks for them. But let's see how it is. Uh, when I think orange flavors are a very common flavor. Well, oh, so close. We use this side this time. Yeah, clear. Got it. See how much caffeine it got. I'm too busy looking at the back to see how uh, all the graphics are. 200 milligrams of caffeine right on the front there. Zero sugar, zero calories, zero artificial colors. Energy. Bam. Two carbs. Must be coming from the BCAA aminos that they got in there. And let's go ahead. Taste it out. It'll smell first. Never a good time when you gotta. I couldn't tell you what this flavor was. It doesn't give me high hopes for the taste. One of my famous quotes whenever I review an orange or a grape flavor is that if you mess up orange or grape, you probably shouldn't be in the business. And um, they didn't do that great of a job with the orange, in my opinion. Uh, it's uh, it's got a bit of aftertaste, too. I'm not sure if it's the BCAA aftertaste that they didn't cover up. Uh, most companies don't put enough BCAAs in there to make a difference. But uh, it's definitely got, it's got a bit of that generic aftertaste, too. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely thinking that it's third party. Not trying to go on with preconceived notions, but uh, I was hoping that it would be a better flavor, and it's uh, it's okay. Uh, 
if you haven't seen my video on uh, private labeling, uh, definitely feel free to check it out. It's a great informative video that I, I think everyone should watch because you'll get a lot of great information out of it. Uh, your drinks like Bob Ross Energy Drink, uh, The Simpsons, uh, Dragon Ball Z, all those drinks, uh, the people just buy the right to use that logo, to use that company. And uh, it's just a third party that produces, mass produces like generic energy drinks and then tosses some flavor into it. So they're mostly generic standard, uh, generic energy drinks. And, uh, you know, anyone could put their name on it. I, I could make a caffeine man energy drink and just buy it from another company. And uh, I wouldn't have too much say in what they put in it. I just have to make the packaging for it. And then I'd have my own energy drink which I'm not going to do because I, I don't really like generic energy drinks. And uh, some companies have actually been doing a decent job with them. Uh, if you guys have a Little or an Aldi, 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 uh, they've been doing some pre-workouts. They have a cotton candy and a blue Raz, and they're both uh, done by private label companies, uh, by, by, yeah, third-party private label companies. And they're actually pretty good for a generic uh, pre-workout energy drink and relatively inexpensive. But not to get too far off the point, definitely check out that video. Lots of great information in there. So you guys, when you see something on the store shelf and you're like, oh, uh, this sounds good. It's Star Wars flavor. It, it, it's, it's not. It's generic. So uh, you can learn a lot about the energy drinks that are out there that are uh, just generic and trying to get your money. And, uh, yeah, so Impulse um orange i don't really think it's all that great of an orange going one last time yeah no it's like a 5.5 there's not much orange in there and just the aftertaste is just overpowering so impulse is not an impulsive buy don't buy it impulsively Buy it with knowledge. Let me know what you guys are saying about this because I just babbled a lot about that drink. And I need to get that out of my mouth. Hello, Janice. I don't want to miss your comment. Which I missed it because it was a while ago. <clears throat> hey, Sean, I'm taking all my questions at the end, but since it's related to what I was just talking about, orange and grape, uh, grape, usually most of the grape flavors that you get in energy drinks taste sort of like a grape soda. They could also go the way of like a grape juice, like a Welch's kind of juice. And I kind of like the cross between the two where it's not too soda-ish, but then not too juicy because I'm not a fan of like grape juice, like just grape juice. And I don't really drink soda. So something that usually crosses between the two there are pretty good. I like the grape gains from uh, uh, Bucked Up. They had a pretty good grape. Spike also had a pretty good grape. Uh, so... Uh, the natural grape flavors that you get from like uh, Celsius and other companies, not into the natural fruits too much. They're usually not too great, but uh, I like, hey, I like the sweet drinks. The so, uh, but yeah, uh, and like I said, if, if you can't make your grape or orange taste like a grape soda or grape juice or a cross between the two, that you're making it taste like whatever that is, not good. <laughs> so, what did you think, Chad? If you're still here, let me know what you think of that. Uh, impulse or anybody else that try that impulse because uh i think they have like four or five different flavors out there and uh yeah oh no problem sean sean i try and answer everyone's questions so uh it's just and i even for my videos i try to respond to as many comments as possible but uh i usually during the review save them to the end so if you have more questions stay tuned once i'm done with these five drinks and i'll answer more questions and uh yeah Let's jump on into the next one. I, I need some more crackers. That aftertaste is, yeah. Chad, haven't had the impulse yet. Oh, something to look forward to.
And there's also a nice thing about the box is that even though all the flavors may not be super delicious, you get to try out lots of them. And uh, I would say out of all these boxes, there's probably only been a couple that I haven't liked. Uh, some of them had stevia, so I couldn't have them. But, uh, you know, you get to try different things. So, and, and some people might not like pina colada flavors or something. Might not be for you. But uh, at least you get to try these all out. You didn't have to buy a case of that impulse to know, oh, my goodness, this is terrible. I wouldn't even give this out to my friends. I'm going to have to just pour them down the drain or something. Not to give impulse too hard of a time, but call it as I see it. Next up is going to be the Meltdown. Meltdown from the makers of VPX Mango Bango. They like making their mango and peach mango flavors. They do a pretty good job with it. So uh, so why not bring it into every single line that they make? And uh, caffeine, 225 milligrams of caffeine in this 12-ounce can. So you're getting a decent concentration. Uh, you got your D ketones in here. Do you guys know what D ketones are? You probably do if you work out. I don't work out, so I don't know. So I'm going to read them to you. Calcium, magnesium, D beta hydroxybutyrate, sodium D beta hydroxybutyrate, potassium D beta hydroxybutyrate. I guess D ketones are based on D beta hydroxybutyrate. I actually like saying that. I, it's a big word. I didn't ever think I'd be able to say big words all that great, but hydroxybutyrate, big word. And, uh, yeah, it's got an electrolyte matrix in here as well. And uh, let's go ahead and let's just uh, body remodeling from the creators of Bang. They always have to say from the creators of Bang. It's like, yeah, yeah, they, we, we know. We know Bang's a good drink. Let's taste it out. Oh, I think I can get this one. Come on. Got that one. You guys heard that pop. That's how you know. You know it worked. Clear, got it. It's a bit strong in the mango bango flavor, but uh, I'm getting some other supplementary stuff maybe in there. See if they covered up that flavor though. That's pretty good. That's actually, it's a, uh, it's very different from what I was expecting. Uh, the carbonation, it's a uh, very lightly carbonated. Uh, I know I didn't go through all the stats like I normally do uh, during my reviews that I do, but the unboxings are a little bit different, but uh, it's a bit smoother than the other things. And I'm wondering if it's, is it just carbonated water? Sometimes they do like uh, nitrogenated water and stuff like that to make the bubbles smaller. See the bubbles. Spill it all over. Left hand, I'm not left handed. That's I'm trying to be fancy caffeine, man. I still have paper towels in here, but anyway, but yeah, anyway, I was just trying to re emphasize the point that uh, it's not very carbonated, it's not like a high carbonation, it's probably like a medium carbonation, which uh, makes it go down smoother and gives it almost this refreshing flavor too for the mango flavor. And uh, it's not super sweet and super strong in flavor like uh, some of the bangs are, but uh, it definitely is a, a powerful mango. So, uh, and they're just, they're not just killing you with sweetness on it. It's uh, probably a, 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 it's probably on the low end of high, just crossing over that threshold of medium to high, but uh, it's really good. It's more of a refreshing flavor and it's definitely a bit different than like your peach mangoes and stuff like that. But uh, it's really good. I like it. Uh, this is like uh, probably like a 9.2 for me. Uh, great flavor. Very smooth smooth and refreshing flavor. So good stuff. What did you guys think of it if you've tried it so yet? And uh, maybe I should do – I should probably do a full review. I think Meltdown was in one of the other boxes uh, a couple months ago. Uh, uh, not sure what I said about that one. Uh, bad memory caffeine, man. But uh, But this one's pretty good. Uh oh. Oh, 
Oh, got some trolls in here, guys. You know you hit it big when you get some some trolls in the channel. Thank you, moderator. I clicked a button. I don't know if it actually showed up, moderator. Hopefully it didn't. It's highlighted. But anyway, sorry for the distraction. Chad, that's what I love about the box of variety. Even drinks I really love. Not telling you. Yeah, yeah, it's always good. Good to change, change things up, try things out. Purpose of the box. Thanks, David. Eric would love to try them, especially the new Rainbow Unicorn. Yep. I don't think that's been released yet, but I'm pretty sure once it gets released, David's going to be getting them to you in the box, most likely. How's it going, Mark? Good to see you. It's okay. I'll be here late. Well, it's late anyway. So, But, uh, yeah, good job on the meltdown from VPX. Oh, the moment you guys have been waiting for. The moment I've been waiting for, really. 3D Galaxy Lime. Newest drink out of all of them. 3D doing a great job with most of their drinks. Heard some good things about it. This is definitely going to need to get the hammer, but we will try it out anyway. Nope. Oh, well. Don't get any metal in there. Ooh, got a nice uh, bluish purple color. Nice. Graphics on here are really nice too. They went with the nice galaxy spacey kind of theme and stuff. Normally their colors are just their cans are just like one color. But uh, they're they're expanded out a little bit with the galaxy lime and they're giving you a nice purple color here. Uh it is most likely not artificial coloring, but I'm gonna double check because I think that they might have been someone who didn't mind using artificial coloring. Yeah, F D and C red 40 as well as blue something can't read that number but yeah so they're they're one of the one of the very 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 few pre-workout companies that actually give you a little bit of coloring in there uh, the workout people usually don't like that because they don't like their body to have to process stuff unnecessarily uh so and, and who knows what kind of things that they say it does in your body and all that other stuff they're still doing studies on it but um but yeah, uh, 200 milligrams of caffeine, lots of other stuff for working out. I've reviewed all these drinks. So, well, no, I, I've reviewed these companies. So if you want to get a full review to find out the company information, more about the ingredients and what they do in your body, uh, the first time I review a company, I go over all that stuff. So my very first 3D review, went over all that stuff. Same thing with Oxy, Raise, yada, yada, yada. Let's go ahead. Let's taste out in Galaxy Lime. Mm. It's good, guys. It's good. <clears throat> when it comes to lime, lime can be hit or miss for me. Uh, I found myself liking some cherry limes. Uh, I find myself liking some of like the really, really sweet lime flavors. Uh, I don't like the acidity of uh, citrus drinks if it's too acidic. So uh, lime can be acidic. So I like if it's a bit sweeter. Uh, if you like citrus flavors or just lime flavors, uh, C4 has a great twisted limeade that they have. That's really, really, it's a good solid citrus lime, but sweet. And uh, they're giving you a good amount of sweetness in here. They're giving you a good amount of lime flavor, but they're balancing off that lime flavor with sort of a, a blue, I don't want to call it a blue raz. I think it's mostly blueberry flavor, but it does give have that essence of like a blue raz. So it's sort of like a blue raz lime flavor. 
and it's well balanced. They're not punching you too much with lime, but you definitely know it's a lime drink. I would say they're probably giving you a, a close like a like 40% lime and maybe like a 60% of that blue raz. And uh, you get the lime immediately and stays with you. Blue raz starts to come in a bit and then it goes back to that lime for the aftertaste and, and it's a good aftertaste. It stays with you and it's a good flavor that stays with you. So so really good job to 3D again. And uh, I'm curious what you guys think of it. I've been hearing a lot of good things about it. You guys have been saying in the comments, <clears throat> excuse me, before I even drank it, that it was gonna be coming out, that it was pretty good. So uh, yeah, so uh, uh, obviously I'm still a fan of the pina colada the most. It's a preferred caffeine man flavor. Uh, Love blue razzes too. Limes can be hit or miss, but uh, they do a really great job making a good galaxy lime, a blue raspberry lime flavor. Uh, they did what they said they were going to do. They gave you the flavor. And uh, I would probably have to say that that is, I say that's a solid 9.0 on the caffeine man rating chart. Uh, like I said, great job to them. Uh, is it something I would pick up again personally? I'm not too sure. I think I would have to be in the mood for it. Usually I have to be in the mood for most lime drinks, but it's still caffeine man rating charts based on flavor alone. And they did a great job with the flavor. So if you haven't told me what you guys think of it, let me know what you think of it. I am getting a little bit of that citrus uh, acidity to stack up a little bit. Uh, so have some crackers and some water, but uh, still really good flavor. David said Alani knew a raise. Is that a question for me? Or did I miss a question somewhere else in there? If you're asking me, I'm Alani new all day long. Raise is 300 milligrams of caffeine, so I don't regularly drink 300 milligram energy drinks because uh, I like to have other caffeine sources throughout the day. So 200 is a great number. Uh, Alani has got the 200 in it and uh, great flavors. I like most of their flavors um, more so than the raised ones. So... Oxy Shred and 3D were really good. Pleasant surprises for me. Yeah, yeah, they did a good job. Davis loves movies. Can't wait to try this. Is that their first new flavor in a while? Um, They first had their original line that came out. The first new release after their original line was the silver can or the chrome can, which is a lemonade. Uh, then they came out with the gold version, which is the pina colada. Then they came out with Alpha Land, which is a lemon flavor. And then they came out with this one. Cotton candy and red, white, and blue are mixed in there somewhere. I'm not sure if I reviewed those right when they came out or not, but that's close to the order, if that helps. So, and, uh, all right. So that is the review on three, on <laughs> 3D Galaxy Live, but the zero pack unboxing, David is still here. Thank you so much, David, for being here for the whole live stream. If you guys just came in at the end, David is the founder and owner of the Zero Pack Box. Everyone give him a hand in the comments below. Why am I not fake clapping? Oh, because there's people downstairs. Don't wake them up. And uh, But yeah, thank you to David for putting together such a great company, such a great box, but doing a great job, always improving, constantly improving from the cardboard boxes he started out with to logos on the boxes to better boxes, better flavors, all that stuff. You know, like they say in the YouTube world, you want to get 1% better every day. You don't, you always strive for greatness, but you're not going to blow up overnight uh, if you can get 1% better every day then you're going to be successful and you've been getting five percent better each time that's right i'm not going one percent i'm going five percent but uh, if you guys want to pick up this box you can check out the zero pack.com and save 50 percent off half price when you use coupon code caffeine man 
Thank you all for joining me. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. I just wanted to say that. I'm used to saying that. But yeah, there you go. Zero pack. Let's see if David, if I forgot to say anything else. Thank you, Caffeine. A pleasure for me. We're going to keep pushing. We're going to keep pushing. Yeah. Got to get more people into these live streams and get more people talking about this, spreading the word and such so that people can drink some of these wonderful boxes. So what do I do next? Uh, I do want to thank everyone for their support for being here. Uh, I appreciate everyone that shows up to the live streams. And I do want to give a special shout out to some of my channel members. Uh, if you guys are interested in supporting the channel, I do offer channel memberships for as little as $2 and up. And each tier gives you something different. Uh, you can get early access to Caffeine Man videos. And uh, you can find out all that information down below. I'm not going to go through it all now. One of the tiers is the Cosmic Caffeines, and I want to give a shout out to Chad Gotro, who's actually in here. He got the box. Thank you very much, Chad, for all your support. I really do appreciate it. And for the top tier, the Mega Caffeines, that is Robert Garcia, Johnny Reynoso, Jackson McComas, and the Diamond Swordsman. Thank you all for your support as well. Like I said, if you're interested in showing more support for the channel, definitely check out the join button down below. I think it's down below. I could probably look at somewhere. You guys know how to find out about channel memberships. So uh, you can check that out. If you're looking for Caffeine Man merch, you can check out spring.com and, uh, and, and lots of other stuff. But let's forget all that salesy stuff because you already know that you can save 10% off using coupon code Caffeine Man 10 at Campus Protein. These drinks are at Campus Protein. You can buy this right now if you guys didn't hear me. You can buy this right now at Campus Protein. I got a case coming so that I can do an official review on my channel. So, uh, but yeah, head on over to Campus Protein, save 10% on a brand new flavor and uh, and everything else too. Oh, 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 they also, I, I meant to post on Instagram, I forgot to. Oh, yeah, they actually have the Rise Kool-Aid. Huh, huh? See, you guys are the first to know. If you didn't know, you're, you stayed for the end of the live stream, Rise just came out with Kool-Aid and uh, you can get it at Campus Protein. I got that on the way too for you guys. So good stuff. And uh, if you don't follow me on social media, that reminds me, I never pimp myself out that much. But uh, if you want to follow me on social media, I am on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok. I don't do much on TikTok. I'm trying to do more. But uh, yeah, I try. So, and thank you so much, Chad, for the Thank you so much, Chad. I appreciate that. I appreciate the super chat. Uh, very kind of you. Very generous. Appreciate all the support, the channel membership, joining up to the zero pack, enjoying the boxes that they have. And once again, thank you for the super chat. Appreciate it. So, and uh, like I said, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, uh, Facebook. Uh, if you follow me on those social medias, you will find out. Like if you go there right now and look, you'll see that just the other day I posted about the Galaxy line, and, and I was supposed to post. I was supposed to post about the the Rise Kool Aid, but uh, I try to let you know when new drinks come out, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So follow me on social media. I'm trying to catch up to Energy Drink Josh. He's still blowing me away. I mean, come on. I have a YouTube channel with thirty thousand, forty thousand. I just said forty thousand, forty thousand subscribers, and Josh is beating me. Man, is Josh here? Josh sometimes jumps in. Josh is going to watch the replay and be like, yeah, that's right. I'm still beating you, Caffeine Man. So, so guys, spread the word. I got to get my Instagram numbers up. Got to catch up to Josh. <laughs> so let's jump into this. I am going to be uh, answering some questions after I say hello to some more people. Evil Cowboy is here. How's it going? Long time no see. You're usually in the live streams. If not, I see you in the comments, but great to see you again. Uh, K to the 8 is here. Good to see you. Thanks so much, Michael Gregory, Eric. Uh, have to go now, Caffeine. And good night. Sorry, Eric, if I missed you. He said good night a while ago, probably, because it's at the top there. And uh, let's see. Next year for the Founder Edition, I need to be in person for the live. So it'll be awesome. Yeah, we could do that somehow. I just have to figure out how to do that. Uh, split screen or something like that. I, I think it's. I think StreamYard has those capabilities. I'm not much of a streamer, but... I think it's possible. 
So I uh, love the content, fam. If I could pick these up, if I could pick these new G Fuel cans exclusive to Sheets, I'll send you some new blueberry muffin and grape gummy flavored. Ooh, I, I heard about the blueberry muffin, but I didn't know about the grape gummy. G Fuel, so many flavors. They got the divine peach coming out. I am super excited about that guy. If you guys didn't hear about it yet, uh, check out Electric Shock uh, YouTube channel. He just reviewed this like a couple of days ago, the divine peach, 140 milligrams of caffeine. They did this with ninjas, cotton candy. They're doing it with divine peach. I am a huge peach fan and, uh, and, and shock liked it. I, I won't give you, I won't spoil it. What he said about it, but, uh, let's just say I'm excited to see this. So, so if any of you guys, I say this, if any of you guys see the Divine Peach, let me know because I'm not sure when I'm going to get it. I want to get it as soon as possible, though. And they don't sell on the G Fuel website anymore, cans. A lot of companies are doing this. They're outsourcing everything. So they're shipping everything through Amazon or the stores. So you can't actually buy G Fuel on the website anymore. So William's here. How's it going, William? Gas stopping by to say hi. My son says, hey, you're the man. Thank you, William. And thank you, William Jr. I appreciate all your support. Thanks for stopping by. Rise Kool-Aid. Yeah, David, keep your eyes open for that. Oh, you know, to keep your eyes open. It's already out. So I'm sure next month's box, huh? Huh? You probably already, you're probably already on it. I know you, David. You're on it. Uh, chat, great live stream. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. September edition. It's going to rock it to the moon. Brian Vitamin Shop has a dollar sale on single cans for Rise RTD, bucked up and C4 only, limited 12. Is that all Vitamin Shops? Because I'll be heading there tomorrow, get some of those drinks. My goodness. Uh, but you can review first. Don't worry. I, I'll probably have to end up reviewing it if I get it first. So G Fuel or Ghost? Hmm. Great companies, yeah. Probably Ghost, though. G Fuel's got more selection, but, you know, I would say Ghost just because great flavors and 200 milligrams of caffeine. Uh, G Fuel is 300, which is too much. But if they start releasing more drinks than 140, ooh, G Fuel is going to give me a run for my money. That's for sure. Yeah. I have a review on the Divine Peach. You can say it's really good. Can't wait for those. Yeah. They're going to be a GNC exclusive. Yeah. That's exciting news, too. They got three flavors right now that they've released or that they've announced that are going to be GNC exclusive. Three different G Fuels. So uh, good to see that they're getting into more stores. Since you can't buy them online on the G Fuel website anymore, you can check them out on Amazon, but they don't have all the flavors. So you're going to have to rely to go into the stores. But they were in stores for a while, and they're starting to get into a lot of stores now. Target, Walmart, now GNC. Why in the world is GNC carrying G Fuel? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, I've always thought GNC and Vitamin Shop were like workout places, but I guess it's a supplement store. You know, I've seen old people in there buying their buying their vitamins and stuff. So I guess it's not just workout. It's a common misconception. So then they got the Ghost Gamer there. So they do have nootropics and stuff there. So I guess I guess it makes sense that they can carry G Fuel, and it's good. I got I got I got GNCs around me, so I'm hoping that they get these exclusive flavors. That's for sure. So. Not a pie wants to know what's your favorite video game caffeine, man. Man, that's a great question. There's so many good ones out there, but I'll have to be honest with you. I haven't actually picked up a controller in like four years since I started my YouTube channel because uh, I work a full time day job and YouTube's at night. It doesn't give me any time for gaming. So uh, I, I, I logged over like 220 hours on Skyrim, a uh, big Skyrim fan, uh, Fallout 4 was uh, really, really good. I like the open world games, uh, I like the fantasy games. I like the single player games. I don't play well with others, unfortunately. Uh, and uh, I was a big fan of uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, and I've been wanting to play the new one. I, I just, Forbidden West, I just haven't gotten to it yet because I have a YouTube channel. Uh, I did last, uh, I, I, I took a vacation from work, and I, I still did YouTube, but during that one week vacation, I said, I'm gonna play a game. I played God of War. So I wanted to play a game that I could still beat in like a 40 hour time span. And, and that became my full time job for 40 hours a week doing a God of War. And uh, so and I'm excited about Ragnarok. Just uh, I'll have to take another vacation to play it. So. But a good question. Thank you. 
Not many people ask me personal questions, so not that I'm not that I'm soliciting asking me personal questions, but uh, everyone always usually asks the energy drinks and stuff like that. I did a I did a caffeine man totally caffeinated uh, like four or five six months ago. It was like a six hour live stream, and uh, I think some people ask me some some stuff about myself, but not that I like talking about myself. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying. I don't know what I'm saying. I got five energy drinks going through me. I'm just going to keep babbling. So I should probably look for the next question if there is one. So, yeah, Chad, no G fuel around here. Yeah, I feel the same way. They've only just started showing up at Target and Rite Aid, Rite Aid near me. So, and very limited selection. Circle K. Yeah, Circle K has like uh, a couple cans too. G fuel has cans on their website. No, they don't. I was just there. Oh, if they do, you click on the button, it takes you to Amazon. All, all their cans are on Amazon now. It just happened like a couple of days ago. So you might have been on there last week or something. But unless someone wants to go and check now and say, no, you're wrong, caffeine man. I don't know. But uh, it might have been like a crossover period that week. I don't know. But to the best of my knowledge, can't get G Fuel on their website anymore. Zosa, do you know the caffeine content of A Shock Tropical Punch? My can says 200, but all the others, are, it is 200. Yes, uh, they they went down to 200 for the Tropical Punch, uh, the original line. Uh, they had 10 flavors that they came out with, and uh, they all they were all at 300. They came out with two flavors after that. They came out with their Blue Raspberry and their uh, Orange Freeze, which was number 10, 11, 11, 12, something like that, or was it eight and then 10, 11? Ah, whatever the case. Wait. Yeah. Uh, but they're all 300. Uh, but then when they came out with the Tropical Punch, they went down to 200. So, And they've been switching up their company a little bit because they did have the Accelerator, which was uh, in a 16-ounce can. And then they brought the Accelerator down to a 12-ounce can. So they've been mixing things up a bit. But I do know the original line from A-Shock was 300. Tropical Punch, they went down to 200. And I'm curious if some of the newer drinks they're going to be coming out with are 200 or not. So they're mixing things up. They're keeping you on your toes. <laughs> hey, Chad, come on. Their GNC drinks aren't too bad. The, the, the Mad Pony was pretty rough. But, but, uh. The lit was pretty good. I've been trying to be on Lord of Raw, Beyond Raw Lit. That's their company, too. G Fuel Sour Power in Miami Nights are also supposed to be 140 caffeine. How many drinks do they come out with? I mean, I've heard of some of these, but Sour Power, Miami Nights, blah, 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 Blueberry, Grapes, Gummy, Divine. Just there's so many. My goodness. As long as they're in stores and I can grab them, get my hands on them, that's, that's fine. But, man, a lot of drinks. Tony, saw the blueberry muffin and grape at 140. Okay. I sent you a pic of both cans uh, on the Facebook page. But uh, I, I, I can't actually view them because I'm not I'm not part of their group. You have to be part of their group. So I'm, I'm cautious with the amount of groups I sign up with on Facebook. So I was part of the bang group for a while. I had to, like step out of that one they were a bit ah. <laughs> k to the eight coming through again g fuel cans on their site does take you to amazon yeah boom thanks caffeine man energy drink knowledge is impressive as well thank you so much appreciate that my knowledge is spotty <laughs> When it comes to my memory. Late to the party, we just made it. Welcome, Edward. Good to see you. We're doing the question and answers. We drank five of these zero pack drinks. They got the Galaxy Lime for 3D. Got the Meltdown Mango Bango. Got the uh, Oxy Shred Pina Colada. If you saw my Oxy Shred review, you know I didn't like any of the drinks. Pina Colada is actually really good. So, Just checked. Cans are on the G Fuel website as well as their app. I know they did complete refresh of the website. It might not have loaded the cans back on there right away. I don't know. K to the 8. Chad, I just checked. It took me to Amazon for the cans. So, so you saw them on the G Fuel website, but you didn't click on the button. They're tricky like that. That's right. Some of these websites, they, uh, they see them on the website. You click on it. It takes you someplace else. 
So I might be starting a Shopify store if you guys are curious. So, you know, I'll have the drinks on my page, but, you know, it's not me selling them. There'll be a link that takes you to Amazon. It's easy enough to do. So I've heard. I'm not sure how easy it's going to be to do, though. <laughs> Ah, uh, see, see, Chad. Yeah, no worries, Chad. They, they, they're, they're tricky like that. They trick the, the other person, too, into thinking that the cans were on the website, but they're not. They take you to Amazon. Same thing with C4. If you go to the Sell Your Car website, they'll still have the energy drink cans, but they'll say buy on Amazon. You click on it, it takes you to Amazon. Mm -hmm. Three D Galaxy line, pretty good, Edward. I gave it a solid nine point oh. They're giving you like a forty percent lime flavor, a nice solid lime flavor, with that sixty percent being like a blue raz kind of flavor. So it's like a, a blue raz lime, pretty good. So, but yeah, and uh, I was gonna have a sip of that pina colada, but um, I'm realizing it's uh, ten fifteen, so. I probably shouldn't have any more energy drinks. What do you guys think? I'm thinking about doing a long stream for my anniversary, too. If you guys didn't know, um, Zero Pack, the last couple of years, has done a Caffeine Man-inspired uh, box. I graded David to do that for me. And uh, he lets me choose the five drinks that are my favorite drinks and put them in the box. And then I do an unboxing. And I'm thinking since it's going to be my four-year anniversary, I was thinking about not just doing an unboxing, but doing like a like a, a four- or five-hour live stream or something like that. So, you know, that gives people more, more of a chance to join in. Uh, I did like a five- or six-hour live stream once before, Caffeine Man, totally caffeinated. And uh, I was surprised. There were people there for the whole six hours, people coming and going and everything. So uh, I was thinking about trying that again. Uh, being like an anniversary live stream. So I wonder what you guys think about that. Might have to get some more moderators, though. Chad, you want to be a moderator? Edward, moderator? I'm looking for moderators. Only people I know. I know there's going to be some weird names popping up that I never even heard of. Say, I'll be your moderator. I don't know who you are. So I had to order Doozy Fruit and Star Fruit G Fuel off of Amazon, and half the cans ended up being deformed looking. Aw, oh, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, it's tough the way things get shipped sometimes. So, but uh, I actually, uh, Energy Drink Josh is going to be sending me the star fruit, I believe. So, uh, hopefully I'll have that review for you in a couple of weeks. So, because like I said, some of the G fuels I usually can't get. Ordered some 3D through uh, Amazon. They were dented. Yeah, you know it's 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 unfortunate, but can can happen with anybody. We usually buy a lot of drinks through Campus Protein, and most of them survive really really well. They do great job with their packaging. But uh, every now and again, you just get like a dent, or just the 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 company just smashes it right on the corner. But uh, as long as they're good about replacing them, see the problem with Amazon, even though they're so huge and stuff. Uh, they use so many different retailers and stuff that it's sometimes hard to uh, figure out who to contact to get like reimbursed and stuff. But uh, Campus Protein's got really great customer service, and they were able to get get us replacements and pretty quick when they when we do have problems. But uh, unfortunately, it's everywhere. You know, it's not, it's not even the company's problem. GNC once I'll tell you this: having a sale on 3D Gold. I always usually have 3D gold in my house, as well as several other energy drinks. Got me some smart energy from C4 in my house. Uh, I've been trying to stay stocked on that Go Swedish Fish, too. But 3D Chrome, uh, 3D gold, I usually always have it. They were doing a buy one, get one free. Buy one, get one 50% off. I don't know. But whenever I see it on sale, no matter what the website is, I usually try and grab it. No word of a lie. They put two cases in a plastic bag bag in a box without any packing materials no peanuts no shipping no no nothing just a plastic bag with 24 cans in it and not a single one exploded i don't know how it happened but it got to me all the cans dented to, to, to all heck so so uh gnc uh, i'm cautious with their sales now because uh yeah yeah that's, things like that happen. And just like, 
what do you what are you thinking? So oof. Hope they keep the red licorice G feel. It's a weird flavor. I think you end up loving it. Yeah, the licorice flavor was at Sheets only for a while. I'm not sure if it ever went to their website, but uh, uh, they G feel. I don't think they've discontinued many of their drinks. They just tend to be like hard to find. And for a company that comes out with so so many drinks, you'd expect them to discontinue a couple here and there. But uh, red licorice was good for being a red licorice, but it's such a unique uh, niche flavor. That I'm not sure how well it sells because, you know, usually your more common drinks like your peach mangoes and your blue razzes and stuff, they everyone likes those flavors. But red licorice is very niche, sort of like the uh, uh, blood, sweat, and tears. I was a fan of the blood, sweat, and tears because it was one of those like cinnamon hot, hot candy flavors kind of thing. And, uh, and I'm a fan of those flavors. And there aren't really any energy drinks like that. So, uh, but, but once again, very niche audience for that stuff. So I saw someone ask earlier, have you heard whether or not a line new dream float will expand past 7-Eleven? Can't find any of my 7-Eleven. Listen, you know what? I'm not happy with 7-Eleven. There's been a decent amount of 7-Eleven exclusives that I can't find. I can't find the dream float. It's not at any 7-Elevens near me. I had to rely on someone else to send it to me. Uh, then the um, bang. Bang has a tea flavor out, uh, raspberry hibiscus. So they have their regular raspberry hibiscus in their regular line, but they came out with a raspberry hibiscus uh, tea that was a 7-Eleven exclusive. Can't find it any of the 7-Elevens. And it is so bad. Here we go. Now get me on a rant. 7-Eleven came out with their own energy drink called Triton. It's a nootropic energy drink, 200 milligrams of natural caffeine, and they came out with some really good flavors. I like the strawberry kiwi. I liked the... Um, mango uh tropical mango or mango medley I, I called it mango medley but it was like mango fruit punch that's what it was and uh really like both of those flavors and even the original and the orange were pretty good and uh and 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 you go to 7-eleven and like all they have is the original i went to like three different 7-elevens they had like the original and then sometimes they'll have like the orange yuzu so i'm like this is your company this is your brand how do you not have all of your flavors available mind-boggling so yeah so so i don't know if they have plans to expand out a lot of companies do um like uh i know the g fuel has sheets exclusive so it's just exclusive to them and stuff but i know bang is such a big company that they'll do a limited exclusive for like three months or six months but then it'll be everywhere just like their purple kittles was a uh in, in the in the purple kittles and strawberry something i don't know the red white and blue can they had two flavors that were military exclusives and they were like military exclusive but they were only like military exclusive for like six months and now you can find them everywhere so some companies are big enough that they can do an exclusive for a short amount of time and uh you would hope that Target would get them because Target is in a contract with Alani New. I, I can find all the Alani News now at Target except for that special edition Dream Float. Such a great flavor too. So it really, really would be good if it was in other stores. Edward, same thing happened to you. Yeah. Didn't realize the line was a 7-Eleven. Yeah, yeah, just just the uh, yeah, just that one. Just the orange flow was a 7-Eleven exclusive. Yeah, Edward, I know, I know. What's up with rain? No new flavors in a while. They their presence has been gone for a while. I mean, they came out strong, wanting to compete with Bang, wanting to give Bang a run for their money, and they did a good job. I mean, most of the rain flavors were like really, really good, and then something just happened. And they've like stopped making flavors. They came out with only uh, two, I believe, in 2021. Um, and so far this year, I think they've only come out with one or two so far this year, too, if I can recall. Um, you're not going to compete with Bang only doing two a year. Uh, Bang's uh, goal is to do one each quarter. So that's a minimum of four. And then they release others throughout the year, too. 
So they're coming out with a massive amount of drinks. And I'm not sure why it is. There's got to be a reason for it. I don't know if it's supply chain issues. Uh, so if it's COVID related or not, but you would think Monster is a big enough company that they would be able to get what they needed. But, but, but you never know. Uh, they actually, you guys may have seen that there's a lot of 12 ounce cans in stores now. Monster actually put a lot of their drinks into 12 ounce cans. Uh, A-Shock switched over their accelerator to 12 ounce cans. And uh, you might think, oh, well, they're just giving us more options and stuff. Or, oh, hey, I like the 12 ounce can better. But, uh, but they did it out of uh, necessity. Uh, they could not get the cans due to an aluminum sh aluminum shortage and uh and in the supply chain so uh so lots of companies were fighting to get 16 ounce cans and just couldn't do it which is why rays and g fuel were coming out with so many limited editions because they couldn't get the production made so uh, a lot of companies started switching over to 12 ounce cans because guess what you could get your hands on the 12 ounce cans so you know when when monster was running out of uh, ultra cans because they're they were so good like their peach one and stuff they brought it into 12 ounce cans. So, so you see a lot more 12 ounce cans out there now of energy drinks, mostly because of the supply chain. But so, but I'm not sure what's going on with rain. Uh, they were doing a great job for a while there. It would be great to see them make a comeback. Strawberry blast. Thank you, Chad. See, some people think I'm good with my knowledge, but then just whoop, forget something as easy as that. Glad to share your 7-Eleven rage. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, see, so you got Target, Walmart, Circle K everywhere, but not a single G Fuel. Yeah, that was like that for a long time with me too. But finally, they just started getting in stores near me. So hopefully, they get the stores near you too. Yeah, Rain, MIA. So. Yeah, Monster's new flavor usually gets leaked, and I uh, haven't seen that yet. I haven't seen much leaked at all now. And I have a few, uh, uh, I know a few of uh, my followers and viewers are uh, uh, Coke truck drivers. So they'll usually let me know because uh, Coke works with Monster and Rain. So Coke's the distributor for them. So heard they discontinued a bunch of their old flavors. Yeah, no more sour apple. Ah, double check. I haven't checked in a while, but I think you might still be able to get the sour apple on Amazon. Not that we all like buying energy drinks on mine, but uh, if you do, I think that that was what I heard was supposed to happen. They discontinued the carnival candy, but the sour apple was still supposed to be available online on Amazon. Not sure if that's true. I know they're not in stores anymore. Which is also sad. It's not like rain had a ton of flavors to stay on the market, you know? Oh, Edward, don't make me sad. You're going to make K to the 8 very sad as well. She loved that. It's her favorite, favorite, favorite C4 Smart Energy. Luckily enough, we still got the Icy Blue Raz, and we still got the Peach Mango, and, and, and the Freedom, and the Watermelon. Good C4 Smart Energies, too. But, yeah, cotton candy gone, sour gone. We, uh, I, I tried using my pull as a C4 sponsor, saying, guys, what are you doing? Is there anything you can do? Can, can you get me something? It's like, if we have any left around in the warehouse or something, we'll send them to you. And never got them. So, unfortunately, yeah, they're gone. Yeah, Evil Cowboy. They came out swinging. They did a nice launch and everything. The ones they could discontinue were the Carnival Candy and the Sour Apple. Yeah. And uh, and I, I believe that they might have even taken some of the uh, those thermogenic ones, the Infernos, off the market too. Or maybe just the jalapeno strawberry so uh yeah boo hoo electric sour k to the a c ed you got you got k to the a all sad now still have 18 candlelight sour reserve hey k to the eight might be asking you for your address and she'll paypal you some some or venmo you ship those to us because she wants those electric sours uh anybody here like lemon rain the lemon heads was a good flavor uh, it was so, but, uh, all right, guys, it's getting really, really late. Uh, the caffeine is going through my system. So I need to go run some laps, clean the house, do some laundry. <laughs> I don't do laundry, but, uh, thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, have yourself a great day. It's not daytime. It's not daytime for any of you. It's night.
thank you guys for joining me. Appreciate it. I got to find lots of buttons to click, so I can never do that thing where I'm like, bye, guys, and then just disappear automatically. So Unless I set it up. But then you guys will see me setting up. It. Have yourselves a great day. And then I have to do it with one hand. Or night. So, and then I have to hit button again.